Jazz Latino on Main Street is happening this Saturday, and it will feature Dr. Jose Valentino, a two-time Latin Grammy Award nominee. This event is meant to raise cultural awareness and showcase the Latino performing arts. WGBY is a media sponsor of the event, and Valentino and Manuel Frau Ramos, founder of the Puerto Rican Cultural Project, joined me in the studio to talk about it. This group, the Puerto Rican Cultural Project, was created in 2012 to help or support the Holyoke Public Library to create a Latino, Latinx, and Puerto Rican cultural and educational program. And one of the component is the music concert, and the other is the Puerto Rican speaker series that run parallel at the same time. But this time is El Concierto. And basically, the first one was uh, Jose Gonzalez, El Cuatrista. Mm. And then the second one was the el Maestro de Bombi Plena, William Cepeda. Mm. And now we have a Dr. Valentino. And so one of the goals of the project, as I understand it, is to really raise cultural awareness, but also to help people see the various types of styles of Latin music. Is there any particular way, I know you're a varied artist, multiple instruments, you're a producer, just talents for days. <laughs> um, is there a certain way that you identify your music? Uh, you know, I... Uh, I don't identify it specifically with a particular style. I think the way I like to identify it is um, the effect that it has, the impact that this medium of expression, uh, what it causes, which is, to, you know, hopefully to unify people and bring people together, regardless of their uh, cultural background, not limited to ethnicity, but, um, you know, I just, I create music that I think unifies people. That's my genre. Can you give people a little taste of what they might hear on Saturday? Sure, sure. Well, uh, you know, I like to tell people that uh, sometimes when I play music, it's like visiting that country without having to play, uh, to pay for a plane ticket to go there. So <laughs> I'm going to take you there. This is, this is actually a, a very nostalgic song from Puerto Rico called Emi Viejo San Juan. So... Incredible. <laughs> so that's just a small taste of what yeah. people can hear people on like Saturday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then it worked, yeah, right? it worked. No plane ticket yeah. necessary. So, Manuel, how did you find Dr. Valentino and convince him to come and play? Well, Gabriel Rosario, the artist of the group, contacted me. You know, I have a person who is in Tennessee, mm -hmm. Lee University, yeah, yeah. and sent me some links to the YouTube. Yeah, okay, let's go with that <laughs> person because it's the first time that we introduce a Latino jazz in, in, the, in the region as yeah. a group. Yeah. We have uh, Latin jazz in Springfield, but not in Holyoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know that in addition to your varied work as a musician, mm -hmm. the, the producing work, education is also part of something that's very important to you, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, so you were mm -hmm. here earlier today at the Springfield Conservatory for the Arts Middle School. Yeah. What's yeah. the message you share with students when you when you head to programs like that? Well, when I go to programs like that, what I try to focus is on cultivating students' creative identity. I also uh, enjoy teaching them that it's important to understand their identity before pursuing a 
purpose mm -hmm. in life, and then um, I teach them what purpose is, and then how to express that purpose for, for what we call role. Because oftentimes, uh, students, you know, they go through life, and they go maybe even through school, or even higher education, pursuing a role thinking that that's what's gonna define their worth, and it's not. And you can't pursue your role and do that effectively if you don't know your purpose, but how can you do your purpose if you are not secure in who you are? You know, and so that's what I teach. And so I uh, go there and I uh, cultivate the student's creative identity and uh, then uh, give them skills for how to become more marketable for employment opportunities or just uh, give them entrepreneurial uh, strategies to uh, pursue their dreams. Fantastic. So for you, how did you go about that process for yourself, finding, like you say, that purpose? Yeah, well, <laughs> it, it, I, I'm not even sure that I can... Um, put that to words just yet. I, I, I think, you know, having a great example, having a present father, a present mother there and seeing how they have been great examples of people who not only, um, you know, love themselves and love one another as parents and then their children, but they extended uh, their gifts um, and their skill sets and, and you know, the, their service, their compassion for people, um, you know, to people who are not uh, biologically related to them and, and they extended uh, so far to, um, you know, give their services in the mission field as well. And so that's a huge passion of mine. And it made me realize that uh, any gift and any blessing that I have is not my own, but it's to share with people and to build people up. You know, I never want to make a carbon copy of myself. I always want uh, just to release the potential in an individual. Mm. So Manuel, I know that, as we said before, that one of the missions of this is to really raise cultural awareness in, in our region. Mm -hmm. What's some of the feedback that you've heard from people through the years in holding Jazz Latino on Main Street? Well, it's quite interesting because sometimes when you invite somebody, the first, impression, uh, the first impression is, oh, that guy again. However, when we put the program together, everybody said, oh, well, that was great in Holio. The first time I see this. Um, basically, one of the one surprise for us was uh, Joe Bellis and his big band. Mm. That a lot of people from Springfield came to Holyoke to see a big band, Latino big band, yeah. playing Holyoke. And I think that we are trying to explode or express other venue outside salsa, merengue, cumbia, that mm. everybody says, oh, Puerto Rican play. Salsa only cumbia, no? We have a Latino jazz, big band, classic yeah. music. So much more available. Oh, I want yes. to remind people that the concert is taking place this Saturday. That's December 1st Good. at 7. You're the headliner, Dr. Yeah. Valentino. Um, and it's going to be at the Holyoke War Memorial oh, yeah. Building in Holyoke. Thank you so much for Thank coming in today, gentlemen. Really appreciate it. Yeah.